Whether it's sculpting or texture painting, having a good collection of brushes is super duper 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 handy. However, finding them can be a little tricky, so today I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to make your own. Now, as an extra bonus, I'm providing all of the brushes I made available to download below my treat. Now, let's do this. All right, so in your Blender scene, you're going to need a 3D object. It really doesn't even matter what the object is, as long as it's textured. I just have a simple landscape here that I made from the landscape generator add-on, which you can find in the user preferences under the mysteriously named add-ons tab. But once you have your object, you're going to need to set up the camera to be able to display it. So with our camera selected, hit Alt-G and Alt-R to clear out location rotation, and drag it upward until we are a good distance from the object. Now we're going to need the aspect ratio of this camera to be a square. So make sure you change that resolution to say 1080 by 1080. You can turn that bad boy up. Actually, we can keep it down for testing. Now we're going to need to turn on the mist. So if we go over to the scene tabs, which is that second one there with the pictures, Go down under Passes and enable Mist. That makes it so that whenever we render, we will have that data as an option to work with. Uh, now go over to the Cameras tab. Now in the Camera tab, go down under Display and enable Limits. And what we're going to do is basically figure out the range of this object in relation to the camera. So what we want to do is go sideways and under this little distance slider, find the approximate closest point to the camera. We'll need this data to create the brush. So if we look at that distance, it's about 7.94. And then we're going to go down to the furthest point, and it's 9.35. So what we're going to do with those numbers that we have is we're going to go back to the Worlds tab under the Mist Pass and put the start of the Mist to be at the closest point, which was the 7.94. We're going to just round that off to 7.9. And the depth to be at 9.35. And also set this to Inverse Quadratic. I played around with these options, and it seems like this one is the most predictable to control. And if we give that a render, we can see how it looks. So we'll see a pretty lackluster looking shot. But what the combined render looks like actually doesn't matter. What we want to see is the mist pass, which is this one. So if we go over to the compositing tab, we've got to play around with a few options. So first enable use nodes, and then instead of the raw image, we're just going to move that mist right up to it. Now we'll want the closest point to the camera to be white, because the brighter it is, the more raised the value is going to be. So we can see these high points here are dark, so we're going to invert this image. Now this looks like there's no information in there, and it looks totally useless, like something you'd see in a modern art museum. But there's actually pretty good data in here, we just need to turn up the contrast a little. We're going to add a color RGB curves, and then start adjusting this curve until we start seeing what we're going for. It's going to take a little bit of tweaking to get it where you need it. Then you're simply going to save this image, and use the brush! Now you don't have to be restricted to landscapes. Here I use the ocean add-on, here I use some particle systems. You can do literally anything, and the only limit is your imagination. So again, you can download the brushes below for free, my treat. Toodaloo.